Hello, this is Stanley Scott with the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank, located in Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, right. And listen to people who are wiser than you that can show you a proven track record of success. That's right. Don't be talking to people who don't know what they're talking about, giving their opinion. We, 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 we spend too much time giving opinion instead of focus more on facts. We got to get away from that. The African American Economic Recovery Think Tank is about one thing, one thing only, and that's moving the African American community forward. In a positive way. We are not here to make friends. We are here to deliver a message. We are here to protect the African American community. We are here to protect the birthright. We are here to protect the history. We are here to protect the economic empowerment of the African American community. We are not here for everybody. And what I mean by that, if you're not a person, as long as you're not sick, and you're an able-bodied person, and you're not engaged in trying to make your life better, that's on you. Nobody don't owe you nothing. Now, as a people in America, African Americans, they owe us. They owe African Americans in this country. But we are not demanding that they give us what is due to us. As a, as a collective body, we are not demanding that. And I think if we, well, at least two-thirds of us was come together and stand, we would get what is due to us. Now, we need, we need leadership in the African-American community, not politicians, not Pastors, not self serving business people. We need people who are concerned about everybody making it prosper, enjoying the quality of life. We call it equality of outcome. Once again, let me say it it's equality of outcome. That means that everybody involved participate. Everybody share the treasure. Everybody. That means you get up early in the morning with a plan. You go to bed writing down your plan for tomorrow. You can make a difference. Even in this time of coronavirus, we still can move forward. We still can. We have no other choice but to push forward. We're already here. My people, the Gullah Geechee people, have been here over 15,000 years. So it's a combination. It ain't that we came on, all of us came over no slave ship. That's, a, that's the biggest lie ever told. But the point here at this time here, we, regardless of our condition in America at this present time, we can move forward. We have to combine our resources, we have to combine our resources, whatever the resources they are, combine them, cut back, make sacrifices, put together an action plan, measure the step that you're taking, and we can win, we can survive, we can move forward. Too often in the African American community for many years, we've been hearing people half of the story because the story, there have been quite a few African Americans in America since the time of the Mayflower where we have been successful. We have had big challenges, optical, big optical, I ain't gonna say a challenge, a big optical, optical <laughs> that we had to deal with. And we won. We fought. We protected.
participated and we came out on top. But at this time here, since 19, the inner post civil rights, we have been slacking. We have the 13, 14, 15 amendment. We can go anywhere we want to go. We can be with anywhere we want to be. Don't listen to all that crap that you hear uh, from white supremacy and, and ignorant African Americans talking about we can't win. That's not true. That's not true. Yes, there's roadblocks, but there's roadblocks in, in every race. You can move past that. You can achieve in America. You can be successful in America. You can build wealth in America. And some can also be 50 rich in America. Hey, this is not nothing new. It's been since we've been here. I mean, I'm talking about as enslaved Africans. We have been successful in one way or another. So I'm taking this time out here because I want to share this with you. Let you know, because I know a lot of some people are at home. Some people are losing money. A lot of things are going on. And it's not easy. Trust me, it's not easy. But reach out to people. Let them know what you're doing. How you can work together. You know, because some of us can cook real good. Instead of trying to cook individual meals, cook at a collective group. Four, five, six family members work together. So everybody can carry carry the load. That's the way you win. That's the way you win. But cooperative co economics. Everybody chip in. Everybody carry a piece of the pie. Everybody carry a piece of the weight. The weight. Sorry about that. Carry the weight. So what I'm saying to you, if you want to win, you want to make it through this, you want to do better, because you don't want to come back out doing the same thing you was doing. You want to come out of this situation and be doing better. That's what that's the goal, to do better, not do the same thing. So I'll be reaching out uh, probably every day. I'm gonna be hitting it up, spend a couple of minutes with you. Uh, feel free, like I say, you'll be, be be on Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. Uh, hit hit up, hit me up. Let me know what you're thinking. You know how, how I do it. Whatever you're thinking, let me know. Once again. Send out much love to the African American community in the United States and my people around the world. Thank you.